Once you've connected your bid from on-screen takeoff, the next step is to price it. In Quick Bid, select the database in which the bid resides from the Bid Navigator on the left side of the screen. A list of all bids within that database displays on the Bids tab in the middle of the screen. Double-click on the desired bid to move to the Conditions tab. The Conditions tab displays all of the conditions created within on-screen takeoff. Double-click on a condition to open the Condition Detail window to begin pricing. To make it easier to see all the columns, let's view the window in full screen. In the top left corner, you can see details pulled over from on-screen takeoff. The bottom section displays a grid where you can add material and labor items. This example is for a common wall condition. You don't always have to build common items from scratch. Instead, you can use a pre-built list of material and labor items called an assembly. Each trade database distributed by OnCenter software comes with some pre-built assemblies to help you get started. After applying the assembly to the wall, you can see the list of items that were added and their associated pricing. To make sure the items are priced correctly, there are several fields to review. The first field to pay attention to is the labor code column. Only items that include labor pricing have a labor code. Items that don't have a labor code are material only. The next three fields allow you to define height, on-center spacing, and layers, which is a simple quantity multiplier. Once you've defined those items, you can see the final calculated quantity. If you do the math and the calculated quantity doesn't seem to work out correctly, there may also be waste applied within the condition's master record that's adding to the quantity but not visible on the condition detail window. Once you've verified the quantity, you may also be able to select the size or style for the material if those properties have been designated in the item's master record. Different sizes or styles can impact material and labor pricing differently. Now you can see the material cost displayed in green. On the right, you can see the labor unit cost. The labor cost is based off the payroll class assigned to the work and the yellow production rate fields. By adjusting the production rates up or down, you can adjust the labor unit cost and total labor hours needed to do the work. If you use unit labor prices, you can adjust the labor rate directly. Just be aware, adjusting the labor cost adjusts the production rates accordingly. Once you've adjusted all material and labor items, the final cost displays on the right. For more information on condition pricing, including creating and using assemblies and the item master window, explore our full training video library or contact us to schedule live training.